And welcome back at 643. A bug apocalypse between widespread pesticide use and drought. The executive director of the National Butterfly Center in the Rio Grande Valley says our pollinators are dying rapidly and it's not good. KSAT Sarah Costa spoke with the director of the center who explains why we need our insects to survive. If the insects disappear, we won't be far behind. The director of the National Butterfly Center, Mariana White, says the matter of our bugs and pollinators dying out right now is much more urgent than people realize. Right now we are experiencing what scientists call an insect apocalypse. Over the past few years, several studies have shown that at least 40% of the world's insects are dying at a rapid rate. Some research shows that 90% of certain species have been wiped out. And what that means for humans is higher temperatures, more terrible floods, worsening air quality, all of the um, worst aspects of climate change. So what do bugs have to do with climate change? She explains that our pollinators, especially the butterflies, combat climate change by keeping our vegetation alive. That butterflies pollinate the majority of all of our grasses, wildflowers, shrubs, and trees. All of those things, that green vegetation, is what keeps our planet cool. It reduces erosion and improves air quality. It filters water and produces clean air. She says two big factors are hurting our pollinators. One is a severe drought we are experiencing here in South Texas. We saw it firsthand at the center. And you can see how the drought is impacting right here at the Butterfly Center, usually filled with blooms. A lot of these native plants just trying to survive. The other factor is pesticide use, especially through wide use in farming. Pesticides are killing all of the insects because that's what pesticides are designed to do. They are designed to poison bugs, all of them. Wright says it's urgent we stop using pesticides immediately and combat climate change to help not just keep our pollinators alive, but us as well. Life on Earth literally depends on pollinators. That's butterflies, bees, birds, bats, and other insects. They also are the basis of the food system for all living things. Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News.